How are you gonna use old boring prop based bus stations? How about I show you these shellers I'm gonna tell you show you how to build right now? Yeah, hello people. Instead of a stadium video, we're gonna do a tutorial video on this really cool bush shell that I made. Okay, so to begin with, let's start with what we're gonna need. The standard video play screen from the screen gallery. That's the gallery, not the device. This pillar from the pillar gallery. One of these corrugated roofs from either Dust, I think Dusty Depot, Slurpy Swamp, or literally anything else that's industrial. A roof edge from the same gallery, probably. A black glass piece from any of the black galleries. One of these one-third glass pieces from the glass gallery. A bench from, I think, the Mega City Prop Gallery. This light that you can find anywhere. And this picture of a car from the Slappy Shores Gallery. So first off, let's start off with figuring out where we want this. And we are just going to extend this all the way over here. And we're going to start with just this that is five and then make it completely flat like completely small we're gonna raise this up to the top of the two times grid it's like the top of the tile so just to measure we can put this here and then after that I think I make this an eighth of a tile down Yeah, like this. So here's the roof. Next thing we're going to do is try and make these. Which should be pretty fun. So what we're going to do next. Oh, that's just my headset battery low for it. So here we are going to make this completely skinny. Keep it on a tile. Yeah, a tile size, except lower it by two, so it's just below this, leaving a gap. You might be wondering, how are we going to fix that? We'll see. So next, we are going to use a sixteenth of a tile to put it inwards. Then after that, I think we go... Yep, a quarter of a tile but since we are using I think 16 grid 16 for grid we're gonna have to kind of manually figure that out so as long as there is one two three four spaces on a 16 times grid snap you should be fine so next, we are going to go like this. So this is going to be the frame that holds up the roof, kind of. Like this. And next, what we're going to do is shrink this down. Just ignore the beeping you might hear. Okay, yeah, shrink this down to like this size. And then we're going to copy this. We're going to place it on the other side of the bush shelter. Make sure to remember to keep the gap there. So now we have a bit of our frame. Next, we're going to work on the glass. Which should be pretty easy. All we do is line up with this. Make sure to make it flush. Then make it entirely thin with the depth at a minimum. And then two pulses down with this. Optionally, if you want it to be fully flush, lower the width by one and try and line it up with this. Yeah, perfect. Now we have those glass pieces. Next thing we're going to do, raise it up by a sixteenth of a tile, raise, 
Yeah, like this. And then while it's raised, try and, and yeah, try and split it into thirds. It might take a few attempts. But it should look similar to this. Yeah, just like this. This is perfect. Make sure it's good on all sides. If needed, you can slightly push that back. Just so it covers the whole shelter. But now we're going to try and get the supports for this. And all I used was... Well, I'll find it in the Mega City Gallery. If I can even find it. No, what we're not going to find in the, me in the Mega City Gallery. It is of the Slappy Shores Gallery, and it is a light. Should look just like this. I don't really know how it looked in the actual thing. So make this super thin. Get on 32 grid snap. And then raise the height until it reaches just enough for either side to fit. If you want, you can try and make it symmetrical as well. If you don't like the light, you can always redirect it back upwards. So I will do that right now. Just going to try and reattach this to look better. Yeah, and obviously, just replicate that on the other side as well. Perfect. So now we have the skeleton of the bush shallow. Let's just expand this a bit, as we are going to start working on the actual inside of the shallow, kind of. So next, we, as you see, there's the lights. So we're going to really quickly make these lights. Should be super simple. All you've got to do is line it up a bit. As much as you can. Yeah, just try and place that down right in the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to your taste. So you can even go off grid. With this. I think this looks good. But next we're going to work on a custom chair. So first off we are going to grab this. Lower the height. Lower the width. This depth should just be just right. To just place here. Try and consider how a person would sit in real life. So this would be an eighth of a tile off the ground, which should be pretty good. And for the chair legs, we're going to use this table from the Mega City Gallery. Lower it into the ground. Then just like that. And now for the outline of the map, it's pretty simple, but also pretty difficult, depends on. What we got to do is... On around 32 times grid snap. Use the back of it, so it has that cool pattern. Of course, if you think UFN, you could always add some sort of texture on it to show an actual map. But, yeah. So this is a really cool looking bus station. And obviously, you could add a screen like this. 
if you want. And we are gonna, no, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna show you how to make the screen. So first, replicate this entire thing over. Just expand the road a bit more. And next, remove this entire piece. Next thing we're going to do, this one's, this part's going to be where it gets a bit difficult. Put your grid step on 32. Try and line this up. With up here. Not going to be perfect, but yeah, if you see some small gaps at the bottom, what you can do is simply just add legs here for it to remain realistic. So now we have the skeleton of how the posters, not the poster, the billboard's going to look. Next thing we can do is simply go to video play screen, hover it over to here. Make it line up. This this bit might need some off grid action. Well, that's what exactly what we're gonna do. Off grid, then just like this. Bam! Place it down. If you want, you can make this double sided as well. Like this. So this is a bus station, so we are going to add a, let's just say a vehicle. Yeah, what else is going to be waiting for? Let's bring out our school bus, it looks like. Or just, yeah, let's just use this bus. We are going to use the, this blue bus here. And this can be used in any sort of like city map that you want. Kind of like a British bus stop. Or like you get on here. But yeah. I really liked how this looked so I decided to tutorialize it. Thank you very much for watching how to make this. I'm gonna just real quick. We're going to showcase how this looks. Of course, with the screen on. So we're going to use... Nope. Uh, where the... Yeah, video player. Video player, yep. So next we just place this down. It should just light up instantly. And yeah, just like that. This is perfect. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you're free to use this however you want on published maps, whatever. Never use these prop-based things again. And outro!